Grand Old Partisan celebrates more than 16 decades of Republican heroes and heroics. Today, I salute Newton Curtis, born in upstate New York on May 21, 1835. He farmed and taught school and at age 25 ran unsuccessfully for the state legislature. Though a Democrat at the time, he considered himself a steadfast supporter of Abraham Lincoln since meeting him in Illinois. Outbreak of Civil War, Curtis recruited a company of volunteers and enlisted as their captain. Gallantry earned him many promotions. He suffered seven wounds, including loss of his left eye. In a famous incident, the six-foot-seven-inch general threw a handful of shovels toward the rebel trenches, shouting, Dig, Johnnies, I'm coming for you. First through the stockade at Fort Fisher, he was awarded the Medal of Honor. Back in civilian life, this Republican held various positions at the Treasury Department and the Justice Department. After that, Curtis was elected to the first of several state House terms. In 1891, he won a special election to the U.S. House of Representatives and would be twice re-elected. He chose not to run for a fourth term even after receiving 61% in the previous election. Retirement was devoted to the State Agricultural Society. Back to basics for the Republican Party is my civil rights history of the GOP. To quote the book, the more we Republicans know about the history of our party, the more the Democrats will worry about the future of theirs. For more information, see grandoldpartisan.com.